The Volkswagen VR6 engine is a marvel of engineering that has been around since the early 1990s. With its unique design, it has become a favorite among car enthusiasts, offering a perfect balance between power, efficiency and compactness. Whether you're a VW enthusiast or just looking for a reliable engine with impressive performance, the VR6 is sure to impress. Now the VR6 engine is named after its unique V-shaped cylinder block, which contains six cylinders in a compact design. The VR6 is not like any other V6 engines, which typically have a 60 degree angle between the cylinder banks. The VR6, on the other hand, only has a 15 degree angle between each cylinder bank, which makes it more compact and allows it to fit in smaller cars. The idea is all the benefits of a V6, but much smaller. The VR engine combines the character and architecture of a classic V engine with an inline power plant, resulting in a new package with smaller dimensions and multiple engineering possibilities. The VR engine is based on the idea of merging the advantages of an inline and V cylinder configuration. The VR denomination comes from the German terms Verkurz and Rheinmotor, which roughly translates to shortened inline engine. One of the main reasons leading to the invention of the VR engine was that inline power units with more cylinders would take much more space, making it difficult for them to fit in their vehicles. And normal V engines that have been around for a long time also have very bulky designs that are too big for most of VW's production cars. So this VR design was the best solution for both power, compactness, torque and reliability. Now this engine is designed with a single overhead camshaft per bank which helps reduce engine weight and complexity. Additionally, the VR6 has a narrow angle between its cylinder banks which allows for a more efficient combustion process and more power. Now the VR6 also has a smooth and linear power delivery because of its unique design which provides excellent low end torque and high end power. Talking about power, these engines produce a total power output ranging between 174 horsepower up to 300 horsepower in the later models. And this engine does more than just produce some good power figures. They also sound awesome. Just listen to this thing. Now that's an eargasm producing sound. But let's say 300 horsepower isn't enough for you. You can always modify it and add power. There is a vast aftermarket for the VR6 engine, which allows owners to upgrade and customize the engine to their liking. Some of the most common modifications include an intake and exhaust. And for those that want to make some serious power, you can add some form of forced induction. Now since this engine is such an impressive and well-designed engine, and some other companies have taken the tech and improved upon it. Horix, which is a German motorcycle manufacturer, used this technology to build an engine for one of their motorcycles. Yes, they put a VR6 in a bike. The Horix VR6 Roadster sports a mixed aluminium breech frame and steel steering head to offer rigidity for the powerful engine. At the end of this video, I feel it's fair to say that the VW VR6 engine has earned its place place as a favorite among car enthusiasts for its unique and innovative design. The compact V-shaped cylinder block and narrow angle between cylinder banks provide impressive specs while allowing for a smaller overall size that can fit into a wider range of vehicles. Furthermore, the Horix VR6 Roadster demonstrates the adaptability of this engine technology, showcasing it can be utilized to create powerful and exclusive motorcycle designs. Overall, the VW VR6 engine continues to be a marvel of engineering and its legacy will continue to inspire and amaze car and motorcycle enthusiasts for years to come. Now let me know down below what you think of this engine. Um, I like it a lot, but I like engines in general, if I'm honest. So when there's an engine that's a little bit different, but it's better because of how different it is, I really like it. But let me know what you think. And if there's any other cool, weird engines I can look at, leave, it them, leave them down below. Then I'll go through them, see if I can make a nice video on it. Yeah, so if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you like a lot of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if it's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?